look at any emerging threats uh, around the world that potentially have implications for the UK. Clearly this outbreak of this virus is a cause for concern. There may be British nationals in the area. We know that there's a lot of people travel from West Africa to the UK and vice versa. So it's sensible for us to meet together, to listen to what the experts have to say, to listen to their advice and then to decide uh, among ministerial colleagues what action, if any, we need to take to make sure we keep the UK safe. That there is a threat that has been identified which we need to respond to. Now, this is happening all the time. Terrorist um, threats from different parts of the world, disease threats, um, even economic threats that we look at, we evaluate, and we set out a sensible and proportionate response uh, to them. And that's what we will do today. I don't want to speculate on what those measures might be. I want to listen to the scientific evidence, get the advice of the experts about what we should do, look at the benefits that would flow from action and the costs that action uh, would impose in terms of any restrictions that it uh, imposes on what people uh, intend to do, and then um, make a rec proper, properly considered recommendation to the Prime Minister for the action that we should take. But we will do whatever we need to do to protect the UK from any risk that could arise from this outbreak.